Hello guys and welcome to day seven of my seven day snake juice fast and even as I broke my fast yesterday intentionally I'm still rolling on so let's get into the video and let you know how I'm doing. So guys it's about five o'clock in the morning and I do want to congratulate myself yay, for waking up early on time to be able to do all this morning new year stuff but the reason really why I'm up is because I never slept so I went to bed late but late enough to be able to catch some sleep and I just couldn't sleep I am so cold even as I've got the blow heater in the in the bedroom um, I'm you know fasting just makes you colder and obviously I refeed keto keto sometimes has a way of giving you too much energy and I just could not sleep I don't feel tired nothing so I decided to come just wake up there's no point even trying to go back to sleep so I just woke up and I've been doing some planning which I should have been doing my bible studies and um because it wasn't planned to be waking up I kind of just kind of floated a bit but I need to I'm gonna go and work out nothing crazy just something just some general core exercises then I'm gonna have a shower and then look into my main diary and see what I have planned to for today and stick to the plan. That's the plan. Apart from that, like I said, I feel okay. I do think that I'm probably going to have a nap later on. But if I, as I'm up, if I can get as much done as possible, that would allow me to go to bed more satisfied. Now, I'm drinking here my detox tea. It's gone cold already because the house is so cold with a bit of lemon. This is diosity and um, yeah, that is about it, guys. So I get to break my fast today later on at uh, either six or seven o'clock. I'm not too sure yet. So I plan to break it with seaweed, um, some a little bit like salad, some cucumber tomatoes and some sauerkraut vegetable. Leave that for half an hour. Then I'm going to have some mussels. That's because I found them in the fridge. So I'm going to have um, a bowl of mussels and then leave that for half an hour. And then I'm going to have some mackerel, uh, cauliflower cheese, hummus, avocado, and anything else I can think of that, <laughs> that I can eat. Um, yeah, I feel prepped because I've got it in the house. The only thing I'm missing is the cauliflower, but I'm going shopping later on. So I'll pick up those bits. Apart from that, that I feel good. Like it would have been nice to be able to do the whole seven days and be able to say I did the whole seven. But you know what? Um, you can't fight hormones sometimes. And this is a struggle that I do when I do these deep fasts, especially on my period. Um, apart from that, I, I'm good. So I'm going to crack on with the workout and see what I can get done and um, make the best of the morning but I'm glad I'm up even as I haven't had no sleep at least she's got no school this morning so at least I can get to sleep in the afternoon a little bit maybe a cat nap or something okay guys I'll check in with you in a bit remember if you're new to the channel consider subscribing hey guys Take welcome it. back I was absolutely freezing this morning like miserable freezing I it took me so long to have a shower and I was just kind of having palpitation that I wouldn't be able to get this heating fixed. But for the grace of God, I got it fixed. So I left the house around nine o'clock and I came back around 11.20. So I got the heating fixed and then I went and got a little few bits for my refeed plus to prepare for my refeed on the next refeed, which is uh, Friday, I think. So I got, which I need to put in the freezer now, I got some cauliflower cheese. I really like these ones. These are frozen. You just put a couple and they just taste absolutely delicious. But I think everything tastes delicious when you're hungry. Then I got some cauliflower rice, but I'm not going to use them today. I just got them because they were there. And I got some soft, soft cheese. I'm not like, I don't hate soft cheese and I don't love it. It's just something I don't buy regularly, but they don't have, they didn't have organic in Lidl. So I just got this one, but I would next time get the organic one. When it comes to cheeses and things like that, I prefer to get organic. Then I got a jar of pickles. These ones are the sliced ones. I'll have a few today and I'm keeping the juice for if I ever need an extra boost when it comes to electrolytes. Then I got uh, two ripe avocados, one for today and one for the next refeed. I got some mushrooms because I found some pok choy 
in the fridge which looks still decent so i'm gonna i'm gonna make that and have some mushrooms with that with some soy sauce and stuff it's gonna taste amazing then i got some nuts i got some oh these are my favorite honestly i need to be careful with these so i'm just bracing myself with these but i got the, obviously the pack so it can last me for the next refeed as well then i just got some cashews for the sake of having them i, I like to have a variety of nuts like i've got walnuts and i've got brazil nuts and i've got almonds in the fridge right now i keep my nuts in the fridge because nuts they are oil based so um it's best to keep them in the fridge and then i as a treat excuse me sorry guys so as a treat i got myself some olives and they have some cheese in them so um some feta cheese i actually have some feta cheese in the fridge but I got this for myself as a treat. I was actually thinking about them when I was shopping. Then I got myself some blackberries and I got some blackberries instead of blueberries or the other berries because they are lower in carbon, lower in GI, lower in everything. So I am going to have that with some nuts. I always eat my fruits with nuts. And then I got myself some uh, mature cheddar and I got the organic one. I don't know if I'm going to have this today, but I was looking for this for ages so i might cut it up and put a few put a few of the squares in the freezer and then i've got it there for the next time and then this is what i was thinking about some stuffed chilies so these are got some cheese in them and they're stuffed and i'm gonna have this with salad i'm looking forward to that so that's it guys obviously um if you watch the other video i told you what i'm gonna have i'm still like i said i still am gonna have that so i'm gonna open my fast with the seaweed and the protein powder protein shake yeah plain then i'm gonna wait half an hour and then i'm gonna have my sauerkraut salad and all this stuff to go with the salad and then after that i'm gonna leave it for half an hour and then i'm gonna have my mackerel sorry i'm gonna have my muscles prior to that and i i feel like i'm having a lot oh my god that it might not even work out like that then i'm gonna have my mackerel and then i'm gonna have the cauliflower cheese and then um the pop choy with it and the veg and the mushrooms and then after that i'm gonna have some nuts and fruit oh, honestly saying it it sounds like a lot it is a lot isn't it but i haven't eaten for six days so yeah um that's what I plan, but let's see how it goes though. It's all about how it goes. I will probably force myself to eat because I know I'm not going to be eating in the next four days. And another thing, I'm going to stretch it out to two hours. So I'm going to break my fast at six o'clock and stretch it out for two hours. Because I, I, I like to allow things to, to settle for at least an hour, half an hour before I go and eat the next uh, uh, food. And apart from that, that's it. I am feeling really good. I don't feel hungry. Um, I could eat something, but I'm not going to because I know I haven't got long left. I'm still very cold, but the house is warming up and I'm not tired. I'm just trying to keep busy. What I think I will do is I'm going to have another one of those um, coffees with the MCT oil in it. So um, that will make me feel a lot better. And hey that guys, is, that so is I guys. just thought I would check and I'm actually feeling really, really good. And I'm just kind of analyzing and how much energy I've got. And I'm like, I really want to because I haven't slept from yesterday. I really just want to have a nap, but I'm like, okay, I'm on a roll. So maybe I just go over. I just kind of clean the kitchen. So I'm trying to get on my waist trainers kind of getting a bit tight and uncomfortable. I just had to fix it. So I'm going to make this coffee and then I realize I haven't even taken my vitamins for today. So if you're new to my channel, please welcome. Consider subscribing. If you don't know, I take a Nutriburst when I fast, not when I dry fast. Not when I dry fast yesterday, but um, the day before yesterday, I think it was. But um, when I fast, I always take a liquid vitamin and I, t I take an immune booster. So I take a cap for, uh, not a cap for, it's just the ridge. Um, it equals to a tablespoon. This is um, 98 absorption rate. Me and my daughter takes this one. This one's fantastic. It's helped with the strengthening of my nails hair falling out of skin i don't feel like it gives me a boost of energy but it definitely it definitely adds to my energy if you know what i mean like i don't feel as tired i don't think it gives me energy but I, it doesn't make me um less energetic if you know what i mean it just makes me feel like good on that note 
I take a immune boost and I take that because of the virus that's going on. I take that just because it's the season of viruses, full stop. So this one is called Complex X. And then from, I when this one finishes, I'm going to take something called uh, Ganoi and another one called Chaga. I don't know if, it, if it's in that order I'm going to be taking it. But they're the two supplements I'm going to be taking af afterwards. And that would last me a month. Now this is equivalent to 180 capsule. It should last you two months if you take two but the it is recommended to take three but the reason why i take two is because i take this if i never took the nutriburst i would take three so i've still got my snake juice i'm going to finish off by today now in doing some research I researched that the MCT oil is very good to take with supplements because this is a short chain fatty acid that goes straight to the liver, bypasses all the gatekeepers. If you take them with supplements, they go straight into the cells even quicker. So you could always take a tablespoon with your supplement before or with it, that would help. But I'm not sure about that. For me, um, I have got my water here which has been cooling down. If you're gonna use MCT oil, don't add it to very, very hot stuff and definitely don't cook with it. It's not oil to be cooked with, it's an oil to be absorbed. So I have got Delgado. If you don't know about Delgado, this is a premium instant coffee. It's got Ganoi in it, Garcinia Cambonia, which is a appetite suppressant, and it's got green coffee, which helps metabolize the cell. So fat burning. So let me get the scissors here, guys. So I'm not a big coffee drinker, but I do like a good quality coffee, and this is a good quality coffee. Plus, I drink it because it's the one of warm things I can have on a fast. Um, obviously, no sugar, no um, no cream. There is another one called Latin that has a little creamer in it and has a little bit of stevia in it, but I only have that one when I'm off my fast. So. As you can see, it's just jet black coffee. And um, yeah, yesterday was the first time I had it with the MCT oil. And if you've had anything like a bulletproof coffee, it's similar to that. It has that kind of oily texture about it, but nothing unbearable. So MCT oil, it says a tablespoon, but I'm only going to do a teaspoon. Technically, this breaks you out of fast, but... The thing about MCT or it helps create ketones, but it only helps create ketones if you're in ketosis. So because I've been in ketosis, this is ideal. So yeah, this is gonna I'm gonna be sipping on this throughout until I break my fast, guys. Because I, I, I just sip it, sip it, sip it until it goes cold, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not a big coffee drinker, so I can't gulp it like that. But otherwise, that's it, guys. So I'm going to get on with some clean up with my daughter's room now as I've got the energy and I will check in you with I will check in with you in a bit. Subscribe, take care. Hey guys, I'm back. Um I'm feeling okay, you know. Um the heating's on in the house, so I'm getting warmer. I feel I wouldn't say tired. Tired but not sleepy, if you know what I mean. Like I just um don't have as much energy but I don't feel tired. I, I'm not, I haven't yawned, considering I haven't slept. My waist trainer is really tight, so I want to take that off because I'm going to do a, a quick workout in a bin. Um, you know, a little science research, do a little uh, workout before I refeed. Is just going to maximise everything. I've got energy for that. Um, I'm going to be doing my um, January monthly program. Let me show you what it is. And it's still, if you watch, if you get to watch this in January or any month, to be honest with you, um, I have a rolling program that comes out each month. So I've got one for February, March, April. So every month I have a new program coming out. You can easily join that. It's a uh, rolling monthly subscription. You just pay one price and you get all the programs and all the um access to the apps and accountability and everything so today's day four so i'm going to be doing um 10 sketcher jumps 10 calf jumps 10 board jumps 20 
crossover jacks and then I've got a glute workout I'm working on some um squats so I've got to do day four of that as well um and that is about it I've just, I'm going to finish my snake juice while I do that workout and then I've got a pull-up bar I'm going to do a few of those nothing structured completely thank goodness for this um I would like to do a few rounds for that this but I don't think I've got the energy um for that so I'm just going to do the one take this waist trainer on put my other waist trainer on I have um Guys. So I have the sweat band, not even waist trainer, sweat band and alleviate cream I'm going to put on quickly and then I'm going to do that workout um, where I've set up my kind of workout area a lot better now so I can um, get what I need to go. I've got my stepper there so I'm going to... Uh, well, I've had that for about a month. I haven't used it. I knew I'd use it when I saw it at the room. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to break my fast with seaweed. Um, and I'll come back and show you how to make it. And then I'm having my protein shake. This is my uh, portable blender. It's amazing. This one is glass. I've got one in plastic, but it's in my gym and you know, we're on lockdown right now. So the gyms are closed. So I'm going to be refeeding with a protein powder called Matrix. This is a vegan protein powder. This protein powder is what we call the creme de la creme. It's got maca powder in it, pea protein, um, chia, uh, um, what's that? Quinoa. Um, it's got probiotics, prebiotics so that's good for the gut health and just a lot of good enzymes and digestive fibers so that i'm going to use half a teaspoon of that that these are the samples if you want to try anything try, try this out i'm giving it away for free you just have to pay for the shipping one price shipping and you can try that out now I do have something called fight which is a green superfood sachet one and i could break my fast with that i'm not going to but i could this one has got stevia in it so it's got a little sweetness so it actually tastes really good with just water or really good with non-dairy milk but this is another option i could use as well if you wanted to try this one out as well or it just dropped um same same concept just pay for the shipping and i can send that one out to you and um then i'm gonna have a hand because i i want to choose something and then i'm gonna have a handful of nuts and then I will leave that for half an hour, like I said, and then go through the process. But I won't go through all of that with you because I'll come back on the video and let you know what that is. So, guys, let me get on with my workout, take off this waist trainer and just do as much exercise as I can. And then break my fast for six o'clock because it's five o'clock now. Um, yeah, and just start getting everything ready, I guess, guys. So this is it yeah yeah it feels good i don't feel famished or extra extra hungry but i know that's just part of the process i need to eat okay guys subscribe if you like this video take care and i'll see you in a bit okay guys i'm back so i did a little bit of my workout and i feel so much better for it i just got into that mind frame of not just not rushing myself so i was like i just did one set of the january program and then um when i looked it was the rest day on the on the on the squats and the abs so i just kind of did the first one and tomorrow i'll join day five and i just allowed myself to kind of do that um and i did it with weights and then i stretched out myself a little bit and i realized i've got my massage gun there's so much good things i could be doing to myself in between that time i put my alleviate cream on and it's starting to tingle already this is like small but mighty. It's absolutely amazing. And it's got a way of tightening up and tighten up the skin and penetrate into the cells. So um, it feels a little sweaty, but remember I never did anything crazy. So um, just keep going. I'm gonna now lay down. It's got a little sweat there. Um, I'm gonna now lay down and massage my belly on the, the yoga mat. And then I'm going to break my fast. Yay! <laughs> okay, guys, so I'll see you in a bit. Hey, guys, I feel so good. I feel like I'm winning. So I've officially finished six slash seven days. And if you've been following me, you will know that I kind of 
had a hormone moment on the sixth day and refed a really small keto and then went back again and this is my seventh day so I officially I'm done now and I feel really really good for it so I'm gonna go over what I am refeeding with let me take off this beautiful stuff I'm refeeding with so I'll go over why I'm refeeding this way so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have some seaweed this is a sea salt seaweed. Don't get anything with any artificial flavors in there. So these ones look like this. Now, the reason why I'm taking this is because I've been fasting for that many days. I am going to need something for my thyroid. Um, the levels of my thyroid have gone down. So I need um, the iodine in the seaweed to help pick it back up. So these seaweeds I, I order from Amazon. They come every month because for the grace of God, my daughter, my daughter eats them as well. Now, seaweed is both good for men and women but especially women um for so please have some seaweed if you're um breaking a, a long fast anything over three days you will need some help and then i am going to be making my matrix protein powder which is this one um i'm just going to be filling it up with water only so i will i have some fresh water here I'm not sure because I don't want it too thick and I'm only going to be doing half a scoop. So I'll start with this and then I'll add any water if I need it. Now this is my portable, amazing, amazing blender. I have this in plastic as well. This one is glass, but it's at my gym and you know we're on lockdown now. The amazing thing about this protein powder is that it's vegan is that it's got a range of proteins in it. Like it's got pea protein in it, concentrated, chia seed, organic rice powder, millet, uh, quinoa. And I find it really good on my stomach to break with a fast. I always break with a fast with a good quality uh, protein powder. This has got probiotics and prebiotics in it as well. So it's very good for my gut health. The fact that I've been fasting for this long, I've lost all my good bacteria. Obviously my bad, but I've lost my good bacteria as well. Even as, um, have I been taking my pro? I took my probiotics for the first couple of days and then I ran out. So this one has got pre and post in it. This one has got maca powder as well. So it's going to help with my hormones level out. And it's got some other superfoods in there. And it's got ganoi as well in there. Um, yeah. And then the last bit, because my mouth just needs something to chew. I have opt for some dates. These are just very small dates. A seat, they've got no seeds in them and then I've got some uh, pesco, some nuts, I can't even pronounce them, I'm so tired but it would have been better if I broke my fast with macadamia nuts, brazil nuts or walnuts um, but I want these nuts and I'm only having a handful because I'm going to have a handful later on when I break with my other keto meal so that's how I'm going to do, so let's go in and like I said I'm only going to do half a scoop let me see if you can see it here I'm gonna try, prompt it up on some, I think this might be too high if I put it up here. Yeah, it might be too high. Let me see. A little bit of a better view, a little bit. Oh, it's gonna, I think it's gonna fall, so I better not. Okay, so. So like I said, I always, after I start eating these, I know these got like kind of a fishy, salty taste to them, but I love them. I'll start eating them one by one. Really chew on them. Okay, so this is a, a, a spoonful, but I'm not going to have that much. I'm going to half that because it, to me, it does come out thick. If I do need any more, I can add it more. That's the nice thing about that. So that's about half and I've got about 200 mils water. If it's not thick enough, I'll add some more. If it's too thick, I'll add some water. And then literally you just press. And it goes for about 40 seconds. So I'm the kind of person, I like my 
smoothies in between. I don't like them too thick or too watery. Another thing as well about this, obviously I'm not adding no fruit. This has got no milk, no nothing. This is just straight for breaking a fast. Um, this has got, I think it's got a little bit of stevia in it. It's got a little bit of stevia in it, so I think it's got a little flavor, I think, because it's vanilla. Yeah. And then that would be it, to be honest with you. I'll see how it comes out. So it's got chia seeds, so they've been broken down now, so they were full before. So the consistency is perfect for me. If I'm honest with you, it's, yeah, it tastes nice. I'm a kind of person, even if it tastes horrible, I would drink it. I, I was drinking protein, pea protein for the longest of time before I found this, which has got a better balance of all the good um, proteins out there, especially for me to break my fast. So I'm going to drink this with everything else I have for the next half an hour. And then I'll go into my next meal, which will be a salad with um, avocado, with sauerkraut, which is for my um, gut bacteria. And uh, I've only got cucumbers and tomatoes because there was no point in me buying a salad pack because it was just gonna go to waste. And um, I have got some um, stuffed peppers with cheese and um, I've got some organic cheese. So I'm just gonna play around, have that salad, wait another half an hour and then have my main meal. Sorry, including with that salad, I'm gonna have some mussels. I really think I'm gonna be really overeating this time, but I'm going in for another four days. So I wanna make sure I'm nicely full. Even as it's not the best protocol to be stuffing your face, even if it's keto, after such a long fast, um, I feel like the food that I've got and the time frame that I'm doing it in will be good enough for me to be okay. So seaweeds protein shake nuts and dates half an hour wait salad half an hour wait main meal salad and mussels main meal and that's it guys i hope that helped um and take care okay guys checking in that sound you hear is my massager i'm just like in heaven right now so um i am gonna have my second meal it was so tempting to just want more like literally i finished within 15 minutes and i was just sitting here thinking another 15 minutes to go and now the time has passed but this is one of the things i would like to tell you unless you're going to eat that same food or it is that meal just allow the digestive system just to relax and absorb the food that you have taken in I wanted more nuts, I wanted more dates, I even wanted more shake, but I said no, 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 no. So now I'm gonna go make my salad, do my mussels, and it's round two. Okay, see you Hey, in so I am back with round two of my meal, and I took my time to prepare it, so it's really allowed my first kind of meal to digest. So let's start with the stuff. So we have the whole salad here. So we're working with some avocado, sauerkraut. I'm especially eating this first, because of my bacteria. Fermented vegetables are good for that. So I've got some chopped up gherkins in there, chopped up cucumbers. I've got some cherry tomatoes, some black olives and green olives. And I've got like two feta cheeses in there. So I'm gonna take my time and enjoy this salad first. And then my protein, I have got some garlic butter mussels. So I'm going to be eating the whole of this. So I'm just going to take my time and enjoy. And then I'm going to go for round three. I think I'm actually being greedy now, officially. But I feel good. I actually feel good right now. So let me eat this and see how I feel. Because I've got some cauliflower, mackerel and um, avocado mix in about half an hour. Okay, see you in a bit. Hey guys, so I am back with round three. I am totally, I feel satisfied right now. I don't feel stuffed, but I feel satisfied. So this is definitely gonna stuff me and considering I'm gonna go for four more days, if I moan, just me, because this is ridiculous. So I'm really happy with this meal. Ooh. So we've got some scrambled eggs that I made with butter, hummus and chili, sliced avocado with a little bit of black pepper. I've got uh, cheesy cauliflower. I love this stuff. I just get it from the free freezer from Iceland or one of the freezer places. Uh, fried, I keep saying tomatoes, fried mushrooms and chili stuffed 
cream cheese chilies. Yeah, and that is it. Looks pretty good. So like I said, I probably will towards the end of the night. This is just me being totally greedy and wanting some fruit. I'm going to have some blackberries and some nuts again and then just go to bed. I really should be should have been done by now because it's after eight o'clock, but I just let everything digest a little bit. So maybe next time I will, if I do it again like this, I will break my fast a little earlier instead of giving myself a two two hour gap because with the filming and the prepping, it's not working out. But other other than that, yeah, um, I'm a happy girl, so I'm gonna enjoy and um, I'll see you in a bit. So hey, I'm back again. So I just wanted to recap on where I'm at. I'm about to go to bed. It's later than I, I plan and I usually want to go, especially because I've got a school run tomorrow. But I just wanted to go through my weigh-in. So day six, I weighed in at 71.5 kg. So I lost two pound, that's 157. Today I'm weighing in at 71.1. So it's only 0 0.4. Um, pounds it's in the same so all in all all i've lost is five pounds during this whole seven days but if i'm honest with you this has been the one of the best fast i've ever had it's been the most solid fast i've ever had and it's been the best refeed i've ever had um i have refeed keto before but not willingly if you know what i mean so um I'm quite happy with that. The body fat percentage hasn't done much, but you know what? We're in our first week. This is what happens. Um, water goes first. So I've still got six weeks left to go. So you have to play the end game in this. This is about the end game. It's not about one week in. You have to think about the end in mind. So I'm quite happy with that stats, to be honest with you. You know, um, I know it's solid five pounds that's gone. It's not a, a five pounds that's going to come back so i'm going to keep doing what i'm doing um i found i'm finding it the only thing i'm finding with the keto is i'm finding it very hard to fall asleep i've been up for like two days in a row um and it's not the best and i've got a school run tomorrow so i have to sleep so i'm going to be taking something called a slim am basically is a repair Sorry, I'm gonna go and get one. It's like a muscle repair, like a BCAAs. If you know anything about BCAAs, a lot of fitness models and athletes take them to help repair their muscles after they train so you don't lose that kind of muscle mass, um, the damage to the muscle that you do when you work out. Now, I did work out, but it wasn't anything crazy. It was just a very light workout. But I'm one of those people that suffer from DOMS very badly. Plus, because I haven't, got, I haven't been sleeping, this is a sleep aid as well. So, because I'm... Um, it's my last day until I do my four day fast. I figured it's best I take this now because I can't have it no other day. So basically I've got that it's do its thing and then I'm gonna have that and then I'm done. So all in all, if I had to look at the week and think about what I could have done differently, apart from not break it on the, on, on the day before, that's the only thing. Um, I wish I exercised a little bit more, but my exercise had to do a lot to do with my setup. Like I didn't have my gym set up as I do now. So it's easier for me and um, just having my just having my daughter and us being on lockdown just hasn't been the easiest. But now my gym is set up. I've got all of this here that I can train with um, in the next coming days. So it will be a lot more easy and I've got the space. So I think I'll rev up my um, workout plan. I will drink much more of my snake juice and I'll make sure I'm taking in my supplements diligently. I know I do take them in, but sometimes I miss times and stuff like that. I'll make sure I do that. And um, my refeed will be exactly the same as I had today, full on. So that should give me some really good results. Apart from that, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Day eight, week two. Let's do it. Hey, so I'm back <laughs> round four. I, I am actually really, really full and this is what you call pure gluttony. It's because I've had the idea of treating myself to 
this fruit, which is like the minimum fruit I can have on keto. And I thought to myself, and it's just stuck in my head. I have added dates to it, which I know is not keto, but I've added three dates. So I've got some blackberries there. I've got about 125 grams. I halved it. I'm going to have the other half on my next keto refeed. And then I've got nuts, which is just a habit I've got. I always eat my fruit with nuts. So that's it. I'm done. Seven days of fasting. I'm trying to get my fingers right. Seven days of fasting. One day refeeding. Back to four days tomorrow and that is it guys i done it so i've lost uh i think i've lost eight pounds i have to check properly again i have to add it up but i've lost um i think it's yeah probably about eight pounds so yeah i've done quite good uh, you know i feel better less bloated everything this refeed has been a keto success i've never done keto successfully on a refeed never never so i'm really really quite glad i probably did have a lot of calories i won't lie but you know what i i'm, I'm still here so we got to keep pushing and get it and improving and getting better and better each time goes on but i'm happy with it so round four so week two day eight let's go okay okay so officially the last meal of the day so i've got more um what do i call i can't remember the name more nuts and then I've got some blueberries and three dates and that is me done for the next four days I'm happy um if I could change anything I probably would swap the dates that I've had and have a little bit more less nuts maybe even not even have this I'm actually being greedy right now but um it's in my head psychologically my mouth just wants some fruit I'm enjoying it and yeah that's it otherwise I feel like this is my first successful keto honestly guys so yeah Another four days, let's go.